Welcome everyone to Beans and Crackers Gaming. This is episode two. Uh, my name is Manuel. And this is Mark. Alright, we're starting this video off. Just kind of free presentation of this Nintendo Switch. It's beginning momentarily, in about 15 minutes on our time right now. And we just kind of just want to discuss some of the rumors and kind of things leading, leading up to this presentation. Yes. So let me pull up our list here. So these are kind of just our predictions, just kind of, just kind of what our thoughts are of the system and what it might be. What, what, what do you think, Manuel? What do you think so far of the of the Switch? Do you like it? Do you hate it? See, I'm on the fence because this this system is kind of unique of its kind, pretty much. We haven't really seen anything like it before. Um. So I'm kind of hit or miss on it. Like I'm not really a big specs. Like I'm not really big on specs, but I'm more of just kind of functionality. And am I going to use it day to day? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm I'm kind of the same way on, on the fence there. Um, you know, I've I've grown up with Nintendo, and I really like the the changes that they made. This is a, definitely a new concept for console and gaming. Um, I like how they have the controllers on the side, you can take them off and put them together, or you can do multiplayer, you can travel with it. So there's a lot of things that I like about it for sure. Um, but let's talk first of all uh, about pricing. There's a lot of rumors going around about the pricing. Some people saying it could be anywhere between 200 to even $400 with bundles or, or other deluxe versions of the system. What do you think it's going to be ranged around at? So I think the sweet spot for it right now that uh, kind of what I've heard from other people is something along the lines of 250 to 300. That seems like a pretty good spot because it's because I remember I remember Nintendo Wii when the first Nintendo Wii first came out. Yeah. It was priced at 250, and that was that was a pretty good price because yeah. you know I my, my brothers were the ones that that kind of got me into playing Nintendo Wii, and I remember them waiting nights. Just waiting in line just to pick it up, yeah. and I remember picking it up and playing Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, which to this day is still my favorite Legend of Zelda game, um, even more than Ocarina of Time. Wow! Um, it's just something about the gameplay and just kind of the functionality of how to actually play those games, which for Nintendo Wii it was really something revolutional, and although it was kind of gimmicky after some certain time. It's something kind of fresh and different, but ever since that point, I see Nintendo kind of on a roller coaster, where they're they're kind of come out with products that are too gimmicky and not really for the player and not really for gaming in general. Like you talk, look at stuff like the Wii U. I personally think the Wii U was a failure right yeah. off the bat. Yeah, and the, the, mainly because. The Wii U is basically what the Switch was supposed to be, because you have a gamepad that you can play games right on it. But they didn't make it function. They didn't make it function right. Because you look at the Switch, this supposed to be portable game. That's the big thing: portability and take it on the go, and then go get home, play it on the big screen. Yeah. The Wii U, you couldn't even go 100 feet from your house. It had to be, full, it had to be completely synced to your Wii. Right. At 20%. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's definitely um, <clears throat> different for sure. I, I agree with the roller coaster part. Um, hopefully, Switch kind of changes things up for that. Um, pricing wise, uh, we see a picture here. Um, it's a tag that says Switch on it for 3.99, and I don't know who took it. it looks like a, a sticker um, from Walmart. Yeah, it, it, from what I, from what I read on reddit it was a walmart employee that posted something like that mm -hmm. um that that's could be a bundle it could be just um maybe more memory or something on the actual device itself yeah i i think it, it's probably a, some sort of bundle because like you said i i completely agree it should be around 250 um for the console itself just to start out because i if they go any more i mean 
that <coughs> that's going to be more expensive than Xbox and PlayStation, and they don't want to do that. They've always been cheaper than them and want to keep it that way. Yeah, and if you're, if you're selling something for more, you better be backing that up with good specs and good, well, good power. You know, you want you want kind of you know walk the walk and pop the pop. You know, right, right. And that's something too that people are are talking a little bit about rumors about the specs itself. People are saying that it's going to be 720p resolution. Um, saying that the battery life when it's portable it's going to be two to three hours um, saying that the actual um, system isn't the best in the world people were expecting something a little bit better maybe 1080 or 4k um, but I, I honestly think 720 is good enough I mean it's not like they're doing 360 or anything but um, also you also need to look at it as well 720 uh, 60 frames per second from what I've heard. Right, 60 frames per second. I prefer that. I would take that. 70p, 720p with 60 frames per second than, you know, 4K and 30 fr frames per second. You know, that's just, I'd much rather have that. But everyone has their opinion, of course. So, that's uh, definitely interesting. Um, we will see, the, hopefully in the conference, they go a little bit deeper into that. Um, let's talk about specifically the gaming and partnerships that they're going to have here. Um, everyone knows, of course, if you've seen the the sneak peek trailer that they came out with, um, they show different games on there. They showed um, NK17, Skyrim, Mario Kart 8, uh, Zelda, um, a lot of games that are going to be coming out. The, the one that I think that caught a lot of people's eyes is Skyrim, because, you know, when you think of Skyrim, you don't think of Nintendo, you know. Yeah, but Skyrim was also shown in the trailer a couple months ago. Right. So we were kind of expecting Skyrim, um, but we'll, we'll just see if it's a launch title as well. It could obviously be uh, a little time. Right, right. So we'll see about that. Um, I'm sure they'll have lots of specifics about it, but from what we think, we think the Nintendo Switch is going to be a good system overall. You know, I think it's going to be um, definitely popular like when the Wii came out. Um, we think that there's going to be a lot of people buying it because it's just different, you know, something new, something great. Um, we want to get one ourselves and to test it out and to show you guys. Um, but we're still talking about that, you know, whether we get one immediately or, or wait a little bit and see maybe, you know, sometimes they come out with stuff and it's not the best for the first generation and second generation they really clean things up. You know, for example, with the um, Xbox when they came out with the Kinect, um, you know, it was pretty cool, but there wasn't too much that you can do with it. You know, there was like a couple games and it was pretty glitchy. And so when they came out with the second generation of Kinect, a lot cleaner, a lot more games, just a lot better overall. So, you know, it may it's be still, the same uh, way. Well, it's still bad using Kinect. It's kind of a really <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, the, only re the only way I, the reason I use a Kinect is just navigation and to turn on my Xbox. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it. we don't know what it's going to be like. I mean, it could be something like that where it's something really cool and everyone wants it. And when they get it, they're like, oh, okay, this is not as cool as we thought it was going to be, you know? Yeah, well, we're personally just holding off to get it. Yeah, we just, we just want to wait and see like what it's about. And should we waste potentially, potentially two to four hundred dollars on the system that well, we know it's not that great. We still love Nintendo, of course, you know. I mean, we love Pokemon and we love, we have, we both have DS's and everything and, yeah. and Wii's, but, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see about this. We'll yeah. see. I still want to play Legend of Zelda. That's still real. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Really good. Yeah. So, so Zelda's the, the green guy, right? <laughs> get out. Just, just get out. Just get out. Just, you get out of here. All right, everyone, so that is what we think, and let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights of the presentation.